Hi, today I'll be coding something starting from this animation, not exactly the same thing because I want to play a bit with Houdini, get a more field-like effect, but if you want to see me make this one as well, or if you want to have a go at it and share your result, just drop a comment and now let's get to coding. So, we're going to create a square grid with n rows and n columns, and we're going to set initially this to something pretty small because I don't want my laptop to catch fire or anything. And we're going to compute the total number of cells on the grid. This is going to be n times n. Okay, everything is going to be within the body, so we're going to have a loop here while p gets decremented and is still positive. We're going to create our cell elements, and here on the body in a style attribute, we'll be passing that n value to the CSS as a custom property. And now let's move to the CSS. Uh, set display grid here, and also grid template, but first we're going to set as a custom property here, we're going to have repeat uh, that number n of rows and columns. And for the edge length of the cells, we're going to use um, 96. This is pretty close to 100, but not quite. Uh, divided by that number n of rows, columns. And as I said earlier, grid template. And we're going to use that custom property we've just set, both for the rows and the columns. And now for the cells, we're going to set a background, um, but not a black one. We don't understand anything out of that. We're going to use a linear gradient and we're going to use that list of colors from up there. Okay, so something like that. We're going to make this gradient at an angle. So it's going to be at an angle A, which falls back to zero degrees. And uh, we're going to want to animate this angle. So first we're going to need to register it. So property a syntax this is like a type and in this case that's angle initial value as we said earlier zero degrees inherits not necessary in this case so we can set it to false maybe it helps so performance as well okay now we're going to set an animation duration so something like three seconds and we're going to create a set of keyframes. So we go to um, one turn here. Let's have our animation, the animation duration, linear, infinite, let's see it. Okay, uh, now let's make things a bit more interesting here and have a more clear separation in between the colors using the individual components of that color list. So we're going to have nth. This is going to be the first color up to 33%. And we're going to take this and just copy paste it and then just modify stuff. So 67% here, this is going to be the third color. Here we're going to have 34 and up to 66%. And here we're going to have the second color. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Now we're going to want to have that delay and in order to get that we're going to need uh, to set some column and row indices. So let's get back here and in a style element we're going to have a loop. So for let i going from 0 all the way up to n, increment this i and here we're going to have cell nth of type. And we need nth of type, not nth child, because this style is a sibling of the cells and is before them and it would mess up the nth child indices. Okay, so knowing this, we're going to have every n cells there plus one. And it's plus one because the nth child index nth of type oh, as well. Uh, these are one based and the loop index is zero based. And here we set the column index to the loop index. And then we're going to have something very similar for the rows. So here we're not going to have every n cells. We're going to have after all the cells on the previous rows. And the row index is going to be j. Now here we're going to compute a middle index. And we have just one because we have the same number of rows and columns. So this middle index is going to be uh, the average between the first and next, which is zero, and the last one, which is n minus one, both for the rows and the columns. So this is going to be calc 0.5 times n minus one. 
Now we're going to compute the absolute value uh, between this and um, the column index. So this is going to be the maximum between m minus i and uh, i minus m. So these are the same in absolute value, but one, only one of them is positive, and the maximum is the positive one. So um, that's uh, how we get the absolute value. Now we're going to have the same for the rows, only we replace i with uh, j. And these absolute values, these go between 0 and m, and there is 0 right in the middle. So this column has index 2, 0, 1, 2. And uh, this middle index is 0.5 times 5 minus 1. So 0.5 times 4, which is 2. So this middle index is 2. So here we're going to have for this column, this absolute value is going to be 2 minus 2, so always 0. And for this middle row right here, this absolute value is going to be, again, 2 minus 2, so 0. So this absolute value is going to be at least 0, and it can be at most m. And it's going to be m for the first column, first row, or for the last column, or last row. Um, and obviously, m minus 0 being m is obvious, uh, but uh, the last column has index n minus 1, and m is half of n minus 1. So uh, yeah, these absolute values go between 0 and m. So if we divide them by m, then these ratios are going to go between 0 and 1. And if we add up these ratios, their sum is going to be between 0 and 2. And if we divide the sum by 2, this sum divided by 2 is going to be between 0 and 1. So if we want a delay that um, stretches across one animation duration, we can m multiply half the sum of these ratios with it. So let's see that as an animation delay. So we're going to have calc right here. So as I said before, 0 0.5 times 0.5. So this one, and once more, here we're going to have i, here we're going to have uh, j, right? And this is um, basically, it's common. So we can take it out of um, the parenthesis, take it out there. And as I said before, multiply with the animation duration. Let's see that. And you can see how they animate starting from the middle. Okay, but uh, we want the animation for all to be started at the very beginning. So to do that, we're going to subtract an animation duration. And again, we can bring that in front. We can bring that out, so like that. And now we can increase this number to something like this, and it's going to look more interesting. Okay, let's uh, decrease it for a little bit more because um, there are a few tiny details. So first off, place content center. So this only seems to work horizontally, but not vertically as well. And uh, that's because at this point, the body takes the height of its content. So we need to explicitly set the height to a full viewport height. Now, having done this, you can see that ugly scroll bar. And that's because we have a margin on the body. So if we zero that margin, we're going to get rid of the scroll bar as well. Okay, now um, something else, you may be wondering, what's the deal with that color? Well, we can set something like a box shadow, uh, zero offsets, make it inset, zero offsets, and um, a blur, so something like that. Okay, and um, we can also have something like a filter, a drop shadow, zero offsets, a blur, and that same color. 
actually, we can take this, right, and set it there. And um, we can use current color and here as well. So it's going to look like that. And now we can go back here and uh, increase the number of cells. Please don't crash. Okay. And this is the result. So yeah, I'm not going to tweak it any further. I'm going to leave it at this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, if you like the work that I'm putting out since early 2012 and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting it. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is going to be in the description as well as the link to this demo and other resources that may be relevant. Or if monthly support is not your style, there's the option of a one-time donation. There's going to be a link for that in the description as well. Or you can make me happy with a gift. Uh, there are going to be links from my Amazon wishlist as well. Or you can at least share this to show the role I can done in CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.